time, it's go time. You got one shot at a gold mine. It's show time, it's your time. Yo, yo, it's game time, it's go time. You got one shot at a gold mine. It's show time. Welcome to our show this week in Cameron Indoor, Indoor Stadium. Happy holidays to everyone. And, uh, you know, part of the holidays is the, the bowl season in college football. And uh, lucky to have a special guest, Coach Mike Elko. Congratulations on the military bowl and uh, having a special season this year. And uh, we'll be tuned in as a team. We'll be practicing that morning and they'll be coming over to the house and uh, two o'clock against UCF on the 28th. Awesome. So uh, congratulations. and. How are you doing? Uh, crazy, crazy. <laughs> I feel like uh, it was about a year ago I got introduced in this building and uh, uh, what's happened in a year has been just a whirlwind. I mean, it's absolutely insanity, but obviously getting settled in and uh, having a lot of fun and getting to take in some basketball games every now and again, which is good, but uh, you know the deal. You've been going through it too, I'm sure. Well, one of the things for me, I've been asked a lot, you know, in, in year, this is year one, 13 games in, you've had a full season, but what's been, unexpected or what surprised you about your first year being a head coach at Duke and uh, being here in Durham? Yeah, pro probably the volume of what comes across your desk. I think uh, probably similar to you, right? You sit there as an assistant and you're the top assistant for so long and you think you got a pulse of what the job is and then you step into that chair and you realize there's so much more than you even imagined um, that you have to deal with and you have to put into every day. And so just the volume of things I think that you get involved with, sometimes you, you wish you could just get back to that room and watch tape and, and do the sport that you love. Here, here's the real question. What about the mind space? What about when you're away from the office or away from the football field? What about the mind space that it's, can you get your mind off of it? Do you do, how do you, how do you stay fresh? Yeah, so so I haven't, and that's probably <laughs> what this year is right, been about. It makes me feel a little yeah, better. No, yeah. and so it's like, uh, like hopefully, like everyone told me, get to year one. Like once you get through year one and you've got it all established, at least you get a minute to breathe. So I think maybe in the new year, looking forward to a little bit of an opportunity to just kind of take a step back and, and breathe. But it's just when you're trying to build it and trying to build the culture and trying to get it all established, you, you just don't stop. Like you never stop thinking, what's next, what's next, what's next? I'm sure you do the same thing. Uh, I, I do. And look, you're welcome. You, you made the free throw when we invited you the one time. <laughs> so if you want to shoot in your, you know, if you want to get 15 minutes to blow off some steam and shoot in here, you're welcome. Appreciate that. Uh, you're better shooter than I would think, by the way. It's I don't, just. I surprised <laughs> a lot of people last year in Cameron. So there's a lot of people in the football building that were telling me to shoot it granny style on my way over here. And so I had to hold up the free throw follow through just to let them know that, no you know, question. I have a little athleticism <laughs> left in me. No question. You know, one of the guys I've, you know, followed you guys closely and, you know, what you've done in your background as a defensive coordinator, you could see our defense pick up immediately. How, how proud are you of the defense that you guys have played this year and what you've done so far? Yeah, I think that's been obviously a tremendous improvement and, and the kids are phenomenal. And, uh, you know, it all starts with the mindset, right? I think that's where everything starts is just the mindset of we've got to be great on defense to be successful. And, and when you get into close games and that's the thing that stays with you, it travels with you, it's there for you in the fourth quarter, it's there with you when it's windy. Um, and we've just kind of been preaching that since we got here. And so, uh, yeah, as a defensive guy, as much as I like scoring points and we want to score points, it is good when you, uh, when you go out there and you play good defense. If you had to sum up like what your, you know, style is on defense or how, you know, is there a, like how would you explain it to, you know, a basketball coach yeah, to a yeah, basketball Yeah, I, I think it's, I'll put it in basketball terms, right? You look at the sets they like to run and the shooters they like to utilize and make them shoot left-handed. And I think it's, uh, we try to look at offenses that way. We look at, you know, what they do well, what they're really comfortable doing, and how can we get them out of that rhythm? Like, how can we make them do something that's just not what they're comfortable doing? And, and whether it be how you leverage a coverage, how you double a receiver, how you overload a run box, there's different ways to do it. But at the end of the day, that's really what you're trying to do. You're just trying to make them do something that they're not comfortable doing. Right, right. Well, let's talk about maybe my favorite guy because it's, I would compare playing quarterback in football <laughs> to being a point guard on the court. And I was a point guard and, uh, you know, controlling the game and what Riley Leonard has done this year. By the way, 
of look him up on YouTube. You know, seeing some of his. Have you seen his basketball so highlights? I've been trying to keep that from you. <laughs> since I know. The day I got it's hired. It's too late. So. It's too late. I mean, I couldn't <laughs> believe some of the, the the dunks that he had and the athleticism that he's showing on the basketball court. Uh, but talk about his season that he's had for you on the on the football field. Yeah, I mean, he's been phenomenal. And, and I think that's the one thing we learned real quick was, one, how competitive he was, and then, two, how athletic he was. And, you know, we had the quarterback battle going on, and I think everybody kind of boxed him into the, oh, well, he must be the pocket passer. And I kept trying to tell everyone, like, no, this kid's really athletic. And, uh, and he is, and, and I think he's grown into being more comfortable. He's a great leader. Uh, he fits everything you want to do. He's a 3-8 student, and, uh, you know, the offense has now really gotten to do a great rhythm of following him. And, you know, you have a great point guard that, that when the time turns and you need him and he steps up constantly time and time again, like, that galvanizes a team. Uh, it's the same thing for us. That's what the quarterback can do. You, you could tell he just has the competitiveness is what stands out to yeah. me, which, yeah. which I love. Is this a good time to ask you if he can walk on for us, or is this? Is well, you know, how about uh, not, yet. <laughs> not yet? No, he. Uh, no, I think he would love to. I think it would like. Uh, I think he's, it might be my best. He's shot in the right. Yeah, he, he's, no doubt. he's in. Uh, he's in the right sport. You can yeah. tell he's a. He's a special player. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about the military bowl. You know, playing UCF, and yeah. they've had a great tradition. And uh, tell us about them and that matchup. What it looks like. Yeah, it's just another great opportunity for our program to elevate. I think we've had. Um, you know, a, a year where you know, the schedule is elevated each week and, and we've had different challenges present to us. Uh, we were finally kind of get, able to get over that hump in the last game against Wake Forest and now here's a chance you know, to go into a bowl game against a team that's been in and out of the top 25 most of the year. Uh, a team that's played in some New Year's Six Bowls recently obviously is trending up, becoming a Power 5 team next year in the Big 12 and so uh, this is a great opportunity for us to go out against a quality opponent and, and finish it the right way and you know, we tell the guys that the last one since with you for a long time you know and so the, the one thing that gets lost in bowl season and everything going on is you know at the end of the day there's still going to be a winner and a loser of this game right. and for the next nine months that's what we're going to remember and so you know it's always good to finish it the right way that's right well i have empathy for um having time off and then playing a game we just had a 10-day break and yeah. played wake forest and now we're going to have an 11-day break so it's one game in 20 days how have you handled the preparation with the time off yeah. Exams, um, what staying focused, and whether it's maintaining an edge or or developing an edge again. Yeah. Like, yeah. what would you say about that for the preparation? Yeah, I think it's it's obviously your breaks in the middle of the season, so you got to come out of it and, and still play a whole bunch more. Um, for us, it was really trying to find some balance at the end of a long season, and so you know you played 12 games. We got a lot of guys who have started and played 800, 900 thousand snaps on the year, and so for that group, you're trying to get them back to where they were at the beginning of the year, healthy and fresh, without losing the sharpness and trying to find that balance. And then I think there's an opportunity for some young guys in our program who haven't played a ton of football to get out there and get better and, and put themselves in a better position going into next year. And so you, you create that balance early on and then probably about right when finals ended, it, it just switches and it becomes all, all UCF. And then now it's just about trying to get our rhythm back, our timing back, our sharpness back. Um, you know, and the, the one nice thing for us, fortunately, is they have the same layoff um, with the basketball schedule. Sometimes you guys don't get right. the same. You know, you're, you're jumping in playing teams that played three days ago. That right. makes a, that makes a big difference. No, there's there's no question about it. But you know, for for me, it's been an honor to start my career the same time as yours. And you know, you've what you guys have done. You've really set the tone. And for representing Duke and you know football and basketball teams, we've been hand in hand. And uh, let's all support him and the team for uh, on December 28th. We'll be there as a team. We'll be at my house and uh, hopefully after good practice. By the way, we yeah. want to have a good yeah. practice. It'll first. be a little we'll, bit harder. But yeah, it's exactly. It'll be a little bit harder for you if they don't practice. <laughs> exactly. Well. But I'll, I'll be there either way, supporting <laughs> and uh, uh, cannot be more excited for you guys and. Congrats again, and thanks for joining us. Yeah, I appreciate it. And likewise, John, it's been a lot of fun getting to know you and watching this thing, and uh, let's walk through this thing together. Let's do it. All That's right. great. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade and our commitment to fuel tomorrow. By Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And by Coke Zero Sugar. With zero sugar and refreshingly delicious, is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself.
I need to try it first. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. Can they handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the smart choice in tires. At Therabody, we believe that everybody deserves a chance to keep going, keep dancing, keep celebrating, and reuniting. It's never too late to rise. You got that fire in you. It's never too late to rise. Because everybody is a Therabody. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. I need to try it first. Yeah. We're here in our team theater. This is the main spot uh, that we meet as a team. We break down our film. We meet as a staff in here. It's right in our practice facility. It's very convenient. It's right off the court. And we spend a lot of time in here breaking down the initial part of our season, the first uh, you know, month and a half of, of games. And really proud of what we've done, but there's a lot of areas that we want to address to improve. And as we look back, you look at statistics and you, you think analytically, what can you do better? But also, uh, you have to take it all with a grain of salt because of our group. We haven't had a chance to be together. And so this time, the practice time is just as important as watching the film, breaking down what we haven't done well, and breaking down what we have done well. So understanding we've got a long way to go. We need to take the positives and build on them and also understand we need to do some things better. Is it back out for Clintman? Mashed up with his old high school teammate. And Clintman lost it with good hands from Blakes. Ahead of the pack. From up top. Blakes has really been a boost for Duke coming off the bench. Loose. Filipowski has it. Blakes headed the other way to punch it down with the right hand. Defense to offense. Our defense has been the key to our success so far. And uh, we've done a really good job of protecting our paint. But we've also been disruptive with active hands and getting out in passing lanes, which has led to easy offense. And you know, with our length, athleticism, our ability to guard the ball, and our ability to uh, rim protect, uh, we need to continue to pressure discipline, but then also uh, create turnovers whenever possible, because we're a team that can really be effective getting out in transition. Duke Basketball 360, presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. For us, one of the things, Mark Mitchell, his ball pressure, Jalen, his ball pressure, and turning defense to offense is huge for us. The pressure, again, the anticipation off the ball, something we talk about a lot, the anticipation, the activity, the awareness, the triple A's, and uh, Jeremy, really embody the triple-A right there with the uh, steal and the finish. Flip, his defense in the post has gotten a lot better from the summertime. He's knowing how to use his length and really walling up and, and, and playing without following. And then Ryan just knowing how to protect the rim. And I love the effort all the way through the possession to the rebound. That's great collective defense. And that's what our team has been doing all around. You watch Jacob Grandison here having the discipline to make sure he gets back and still contest the shot. Transition defense, that's been a huge point of emphasis for us. And again, the anticipation by Flip and the three-point play in the finish. 
if we can get as a team just that the again Ryan Ryan Young diving on the floor for the loose ball and turning into easy baskets. We've been a great transition team. We just need to do it more. I love love the intensity, love valuing the ball and going for the play. Flip again his anticipation. And then when we get it like this, making easy plays. And Jalen's had great assist to turnover ratio. And just him having poise, he gets Jeremy that open three. One of the things we've talked about when a guy picks up his dribble to get in the passing lane. And that's what Mark did right there. It's a great play. Flip again with the body up. And then Tyrese with a really crafty finish. Getting in the passing lanes is something we've always done and we need to continue to do. Flip has great, he has not just anticipation, he has great feel on defense off the ball. And then Ryan playing cat and mouse with the big and the guard. And when we protect our rim and block shots, it's gonna lead to early offense. And I love the huddle afterwards, the communication, the, the togetherness. And being excited for each other. That's what it's all about. Tyrese cracking down on the weak side, passing ahead, and again, leading an easy basket for Jeremy. And look at, look at the roaches. They're giving it up, show, showing the, the enthusiasm. You got to love it. So our guys are coming back from Christmas break on December 26th. And, you know, uh, a big thing for them is getting refreshed, spending time with the families. Uh, it's been a big time grind so far. And when they come back, really revving up our shape. You know, that's the thing we always have to do when you have a few days off. And then, you know, really breaking down on the offensive end, taking it to the next level of knowing how to play with each other. Uh, you know, we talk a lot about getting to the second action, getting to the third action. And the defensive end, there are just layers that we want to continue to build. And so we have a few days to focus on ourselves uh, before gearing up for Florida State. So that will be a really important time for us as a team. Got a step back from three. It's short, the rebound for Young inside. He's got Grandis in the corner. Instead, he feeds it inside for Mitchell. Outstanding decision. A two-hand flush and a chance for three. I know the car accident wasn't technically your fault. But we, as the insurance company, deny this claim. We might fix your car. But medical bills? Pain and suffering? Lost wages? You're asking for a lot. Oh. You've got a lawyer. This conversation is over. <laughs> Tell the insurance company you mean business. Call on the Hurt Line, the law offices of James Scott Farron, right now. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. Come in now and choose from a great selection of new Ford trucks and SUVs. In stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order on select vehicles, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Plus, new inventory is arriving daily, so you can drive one home for the holidays. Lock in this low rate, plus make no payments for up to 90 days on a new 2022 Ford F-150. Choose from 6,000 trucks and SUVs, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. So for me, I started playing chess when I was in the second or third grade. I went to chess club after school. So that's how I got started. For me, I love the strategy of it. It's always been something just to take my mind off of the stresses of life or what's going on. But how did you get into chess? My dad put me in a, a chess camp when I was five. Uh, and 
I was getting beat all the time, and I was a competitive person. And so I took it like, yo, I want to get better at this. So I started, I started playing with my dad all the time. Uh, so it's kind of just a thing that we do now. Just like, I'm way better than him now at this point, but because <laughs> of COVID, so he doesn't really want to play me. Uh, but it was just a thing we did. So I, I've got a lot of reps in this now. So me and you both are on Chess.com that app, yeah. and I know again we we have busy schedules now. But when you do go on there. What's your style of, what's your favorite kind of chess to play? Because I, people don't know there's different times and yeah. uh, anyway. I prefer three minute chess. It's enough to get like, you almost, it's almost like habit formation or like pattern completion or something. Like you see a bunch of patterns and you kind of just act on it kind of habitually. And you don't have to like, you obviously read the board, but you move pretty quickly. So you kind of just have to make split game decisions. Um, that's what I like to play. We're you? not playing time today. No, that's totally All fine. Right. I'm actually three minutes is my speed as well. So that's, it's, I can't, you know, to sit all there for, you know, I can't yeah. sit there for multiple hours playing chess, but yeah. uh, three, to, three to five minutes is probably my, my uh, sweet zone right there. We're just trying to play just one game or best of five or? We're going to play one game and see how it goes. And then depending on how that game goes, yeah. we may play more. How about right. that? All right. Sounds good to me. We're going to start. Check. <laughs> you heard that? <laughs> so it's gonna hurt you. Check. It's That's costly. not good. I want that queen. <laughs> You got two squares you could go to. Yeah, I know. If you go there, it's made of one. Exactly, move. exactly. Um, That's what. Yeah. And if you go, I mean, it's basically made. Because yeah. you go there, it's made of one move there too. I gotta, I gotta play it out one more. Take your pick. It's done either way. It's 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 done. It's done. <laughs> Game. <laughs> I felt like I, uh, I mean, you're really good. I felt like that that move was big. That, that was that it was critical. That you was had you had a good split here where you took the rook. Uh, I was a little bit under pressure there, but you know that blunder was it changed everything. I, I think about, I could get you one time. It's about reps. I can tell you, you see the game. I mean, it's the way you see offense. It's the same way. Do you think I can beat you? You know, I'm not going to put it out of the question. I think the probability, it's like a probability. Like, you probably have like a 20% probability of beating me. 20%. So one out of, what, one out of every five games you'll probably you think beat I me? can get you hard. Maybe less. I'd right. say one out of, one out of eight. <laughs> so 12 and a half. Yeah. We're playing again, uh -huh. and we're going on chess.com, and we're, I'm going to beat yeah, you. It's about I, reps. I, it really is about, is, it's the same as basketball. Yeah, like, you no can question. know as much as you... Like, you can know everything in the world, but it's really how many like how much time you put into like recognizing these moves and like you know like no question putting it in. Um, that was fun. We we yeah. we'll do it again for sure. We'll again, all right, man. That's awesome. It's good stuff. When I was playing overseas uh, in Israel for Maccabi Tel Aviv, a teammate of mine who's one of the, actually he's one of the all-time great players in Europe. Uh, Sofo Schwarzenegger is his name, and Sofo was on. Uh, the, the Greece national team for a long time, and when he was real young, he actually had a future career of being a chess player. But when we'd be on the road, just me and Sofa would be playing chess every day. And, uh, you know, this is when I was, what, 23, 24, 23 years old. And uh, since then, I've played it, you know, played with people on staff, friends, uh, even some players. And, uh, you know, Max got me, but that's been a passion of mine, and I've gotten into it. And it's a credit to Sofo for uh, reigniting the uh, passion that I have for chess.
drunk, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I wasn't here. What age are you Gatorade, bro? Yes, sir. From Punch. I remember way back when. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. Cinema Brooklyn has done it. And everybody say, I remember way back when. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. I remember way back when. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. Can they handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the smart choice in tires. There's a reason every Odyssey is named after the Odyssey. Because the world's most famous story isn't about staying put. It's about being there. So for those who want a story to tell, we have a world full of places to start. Well, I want to wish everyone a happy holiday season, and it's a time to be with family, and you know, with our Duke family, we've lost three incredible people, and Greg Dale, Dan Colella, Elizabeth Beganay, and you know, really sending our love from our program to each one of them and their families, and uh, really wish all of you the best. Merry Christmas, happy holiday season, and uh, let's count our blessings and be thankful to have each other and really move forward and carry on the tradition that each, each of the three of them have laid, for all, laid out for all of us. So our love to you all and happy holiday season.